talk about the compute level, the team. Uh, I didn't like our first 10 minutes, but the rest of it, I loved it. Like they compete, they try hard. Um, like I told them, be yourself, try to make plays if you're a playmaker. And if you're physical, be physical from uh, the top guys, obviously, uh, Mishkov and Ruchenko and Denoye to the uh, bottom line. Like uh, Gaucher's line were physical and that's their job. And I'm proud of them. They, they did what they were supposed to do. Obviously, we didn't get the win, but uh, there's a lot of positive. Were you? Okay. I think everybody was. Like it's, you know, he's uh, he's a special player, and you can tell. And more camps gonna advance our camp, and after he's gonna go with better players. It's no disrespect to those kids, but NHL players are NHL players. I feel like he's gonna he's gonna be even better. So, um, yeah, just to have him on the bench, it's fun because he he loves it. You can tell he loves the game. He wants to be out there, and he was out there quite a bit. And uh, I was impressed by him, Luchenko. That's a kid that um, I was very impressed by, like just by his maturity in his game. And uh, great on face-off, good penalty killer, good on the power play. Like uh, I'm very excited about his future, that's for sure. He, did, he showed off a little. I mean, we know the skill, but he showed off a little grit, a little snarl too out there. A little, excuse me? A little snarl. A little yeah, yeah, a little, yeah, yeah. They. Yeah, most of the guys do have that, that little edge on their game, and uh, you need that. Yeah, to go to the next level, you need that. You just can't get pushed around, and nobody did tonight. Like I felt like from McDonald to even Mitchkov, a couple of times will give a little pushback, and you need to make room like that. But it looked, you know, obviously, he's got the skill and the creativity. Did it look like he was sort of Mitchkov was his in the third period, especially? It was really starting to come out. Yeah, well, I kind of, you know, we had so many penalties in the second period, so he didn't. Touch the ice as much as we'd like to, but in the third, I double shift him, and uh, it seems to be a kid who. Well, every everybody likes to play a lot, and but he's he's got the, uh, he's in great shape, so he can he can handle it. And uh, I really like, uh, you know, he made he made plays on the power play, five on five uh, plays out of nothing, and that's a special gift that he got. He's got he got, and uh, I can't wait to see his uh, development. He's not playing tomorrow, so I won't coach him tomorrow. In the, uh, in the third period, Mishkot had the sequence behind the net where he was sending guys off and making plays. Is that where you really see yeah. what he can do? That's impressive. Like, you know, it's, uh, he's 19 years old. That you can't forget. Like, I know there's a huge buzz around him, around the league, not only in Philly, and uh, but he handles it great, and he makes plays like that. And... Uh, Again, I can't say enough. It's only two days that I've been skating with him, but uh, that's pretty impressive. The defense made some really good plays, especially like Spencer Gill on that empty net. He, he kept him in it. How yeah. impressed were you with the defense and Bjarne to, to keep the Rangers to uh, maintain? I, I like the decor, like we're big bodies, but uh, I felt like we could have moved the puck a little bit quicker, especially at the beginning of the game. But uh, yeah, that was a hell of a play to save that empty net goal. But yeah, it's um, there's a bright future in the back end. I know I talked about the forwards quite a bit. That's the guys I run up front. But uh, you get Bunk and McDonald and all those kids are they do have a bright future. What did you see from McDonald uh, on your end? It wasn't perfect, but it seemed like he was getting under their skin. A little yeah, bit. that's that's his game. It's gonna be uh, physical. He'll be in your face and. Uh, we like that in Philly, and Torts loves that. So I think he made a pretty good impression. And he knows that. He's not stupid. He knows that uh, we love that, and he plays that um, tough. And uh, in front of that, he's tough in the corner. He's always, you know, nice little cross check in the ribs. And uh, it goes a long way in this organization. And uh, he, that's another kid who's got a bright future. In your pregame presser, you mentioned that you were excited not only to see Mopai Mishkov, but you were excited to see Oliver Bonk. I like him. I, I like him since uh, we had him last year. Like he's one of those kids that grew up in a hockey family, obviously with his dad. But he, you can tell he loves the game, wants to be a difference maker, and uh, yeah, yeah. I think like, just like everybody else, everybody had a tough first ten minutes. But after that, I felt like uh, his legs under him, and uh, he played well for us. I felt like I wanted to more. Step up his game. I thought so. I'm I'm happy about that. I, I told you guys before or yesterday that I was looking forward to seeing him play, and uh, he looked great. He looked fast. He looked quick. He looked strong in that puck, and um, 
That's great. It's a great build-up for him. Like it's a big year for him. He knows that. We know that. So it's a great start.